it's more powerful. They can do remotes and live streaming, as well as tape productions. Let Amp2 TV handle all of your television production needs. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A-M-P, the number two, dot TV. Or call them at 1-866-224-5422. That's 866-224-5422. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Hola! Welcome to Latin Storytellers. Historias Latinas TV, where you can tell me your story, talking about you or your business. Why are you in the United States? Tell me about your business. If you want to talk to me on in the air, 888-565-1470. If you want a private session, call me to 561-777-2295. Now, let's go on with the show. I <laughs> can <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Monica and we are in Latin Storytellers, Historias Latinas TV. Tenemos una, we have a wonderful <laughs> guest. <laughs> She's a Spanish too, right? Historias yeah. <laughs> Latinas. A wonderful guest, a transforma transformational coach. She's amazing. We met like since three years ago. Fiorella, Fiorella Garibaldi. How are you, Fiorella? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm so <laughs> happy to have you here. I'm, I'm really happy. And she She's wonderful. She's always smiling. She's dancing. <laughs> and but tell I'm not gonna talk too much. I want you to tell me your story. Tell me about you. All right. Well, I came to be a transformational life coach for women after realizing and looking back into my life and noticing that I was not happy where I was. Mm -hmm. I like was, everybody. Like, like everybody. <laughs> yeah. It was a point in my life where, you know, I, I realized there has to be something else, you know, there has to be something more. Yeah. Um, waking up, feeling like this deep um, hole in your chest, like just wondering if, if, if this was it. I was not satisfied with that. And it, hit, it really hit me when I went into like a, a romantic relationship and, mm -hmm. and a romantic relationship in where I was he lied to, um, rejected and, you, you know, really feel bad about that. Exactly. It was heavy. A, a, a relationship in, in where things were not working, but yeah. I was still basically lying to myself and, and, and just, you know, continue to, to, to pursue it for, for, for some reason. And when I finally hit like the bottom of it and I, I was like, I can't do this anymore. And I started to realize, oh my God, like when I turned the mirror back around, I realized that in reality, I had been, do been doing all these things to myself. You yeah. know, everything that I thought my partner had been doing, the lying, the rejection, that putting me second all the time was really what I had been doing to myself. See, this is really interesting because most of the people, when they are in a relationship, they blame it to the, in the other one. Exactly. We usually do that. Yeah. Is he or she's the she one. She did that to me. This guy did she's this. She's mean. She yeah. cheated on me. He cheated on me. He did that. He did that. Yeah. But it's not like that. It's actually ourselves, right? It's actually everything goes back to you. You know, when you start to turn the mirror around and you are like, okay, well, this person was lying to me. And then you look at yourself and you start to ask the questions. Okay, where am I lying to myself? Yeah. You know, where am I rejecting myself? Where am I putting myself second? You start to discover that the truth is that you are and have been doing these things to yourself. And yeah. that to me was like, huge you know that to me was like oh my god like i really need to start to work on this because you know when you don't do anything about it then your next relationship is always going to be the same and the universe is going to keep um giving you and delivering like relationships jobs works that reflect what's inside of yourself so if you don't do this work then you're just going to keep being stuck you know in a place where it's probably not not a, uh, a healthy place. place or a good place to be at least not that you're ha no one happy that you're place. happy with <laughs> absolutely no. not yeah. so how did you change this perspective when you realize this 
this relationship, it was not working, and you turn around the mirror and it says, oh, this is me. This is it's me. What is it? How that happened? Well, I mean, I had been doing some inner work already, so I was aware of this, you know, this this truth, you know, okay, nobody really does anything to you. It's, it's all about yourself. So, but it still came as a shock. And once I realized that, I was like, okay, I, it's time for me to dig even deeper. And I realized throughout that process that I, I hadn't loved and accepted myself. You know, I hadn't like, even, even in the, during the breakup of this relationship, like I felt a little anger. And at first I thought I feel in a lot of anger towards this person. But in reality, I realized, no, I feel in anger at to myself, yeah, to you, you know, because how did I allow all of these things to happen to me? Right. So, so it was basically coping through the emotions of like, to me, feeling anger before it was not allowed. Hmm. You know, it was like something that nice people don't do. You know, you hmm. keep your anger in, you keep your stuff in, you, you, you don't cause um, confrontations and stuff. So I had been suppressing myself all, all along. So when this happened, it really hit me. Okay, I need to start feeling all of this. And, and that was one of the huge things that pretty much shifted everything. I need to accept where I am, mm -hmm. you know, and I need to feel this pain. I need to feel all of this and really dig in and and maybe start learning where, where this is coming from. See, this is important. Most of, the, most of us, because I can include myself in that, yeah. when you have a shock like that and emotions, you wanted to avoid them. Yes. You don't want to feel sad. Everybody's like, no, no, don't cry, don't exactly. cry. No, don't feel angry. Yeah. Come and play, this is something. And yeah. that's lying to ourselves. That's basically not accepting where you are at the moment. And which what you feel. Exactly, and goes back to self-love because, yeah. I mean, if you're experiencing something at the moment, by you rejecting it is basically telling yourself there's something wrong with you yeah. for you feeling this. Oh, that question is clue, right? I love that question because everybody says, what is wrong with me? We <laughs> always ask ourselves, like, what is wrong with me? Why am I feeling like this? And instead, when you realize, okay, these feelings are inside, trying to grab your attention, trying to you know, get you to dig deeper and be with them. Like, that's all you want. You know, they want you to be aware of them. They want you to acknowledge, accept them so they can transform. But that's to be brave. I mean, not everybody can do that. The personal work, I always tell people, it takes a lot of courage yes. to do it. Because yeah. it's, we rather avoid it and go watch TV, go watch a movie, drink. go drink. Oh, yeah. I was a big <laughs> drinker in my youth and my, and my teens and all the way through my 30s. I was numbing myself everywhere, every uh, however I could. And drinking was a huge thing for me. I just so that I would avoid feeling like I did. I would right. just drink, drink, drink. And I forget thought, about everything, forget about everything for but the moment. Exactly, but then real reality comes back again and your life is going to be stuck. Because when you don't deal with things in the moment, like when you don't deal with them, like, you know, and, and, and try to, you know, learn what they're really trying to tell you, then the universe is so kind and giving that it's always going to give you a second opportunity. It's going to be like, okay, well, you didn't learn it this time. I'm going to show you, you know, next time I'm going to bring another people, another relationship, another boyfriend, whatever it is, same core issue. Same problem. Same problem. <laughs> so you're going to... Until you don't face it. Exactly. So yeah. when, when you did that and you face it, your, your mirror and you realize, oh, this is what I need to do, what did you do? I, I basically started doing that. I, I, I re <laughs> really took me like this whole long year of going in. Like it's, I, I basically stopped going out and I'm not telling people this is what you should do, but it served me a lot to be with myself, you know, to start oh, to okay. get to know myself. Like why, why did I accept all of these things? Like all these questions, like why did I take this? What's, what's underneath that? What's, wh what is this unworthiness? Why did I think I was not deserving of something better? What was the fear of letting this guy go or all these things and all these questions came up, you know? So you, you stay in your home or you stay by yourself yeah, like, I, trying to figure it out? I kind of isolated questions. myself. And of course, like during that period, I was doing a, a, a training as well that helped a lot. You know, I had a support system, which beautiful people that I can count on. And doing that work, just going back, going back to, to, 
to to my childhood actually in in, in healing the wounds that were still open you know oh yeah that's super super a clue too that i i really wanted to touch the the base in that what happened when when you have um a feeling with your parents that you feel that they were not paying attention to you or you have any kind of a problem yeah. with them so you reflect that in your relationships well But you create us like when you're when you were kids we don't have these tools right we don't and even as adults I mean, we don't have the tools to to you know um go through these things so when something is painful we create a story around it and this is the story that we live by yeah. i'm not lovable i'm not good enough i don't deserve this because at some point maybe your parents your society your friends your whatever your your brother your sister did said something And in your mind, you couldn't understand what this meant. So you you identify with this and you created a story. And then yeah. you carry that throughout your life. In a, your adult life, you're still reflecting it in your relationships, in your job, um, you know, in, in your career, in decisions. And that's really, it. see, it happened to my son like the other day with my, my daughter and some friends. And he, they were talking and he thought where what happened what uh, everything happens it was because of him mm. and he has so late and he was sad and then i said what happened you know they're mean and it, it's, it didn't happen that way but exactly. that that was his perspective exactly and he can build that for in, the, his entire life exactly if you don't have the tools and you don't have the conscious parents and 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 somebody to, to tell you well this is not really you no. you know it's not about this this we have to see things this way or help you through them then You're gonna keep doing your life and 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 filtering all your experiences through those you know through those lenses. The and feelings, you know, I don't know the, the, if if you deal with that when you you had your grief, the but the anger and then the guilt. If you you feel that what's wrong with me? Exactly. Oh my God, there was so much of that. Like the the anger <laughs> was huge, and I didn't know at some point how to because I couldn't go out and like hit the guy <laughs> you know even though i wanted to but i was like i need to release this so there's a when you're feeling something like it's huge to le express yourself and I, i this is gonna sound funny but i actually got a punching bag no, because great. i like to kickbox <laughs> and i would literally like hit that bag until i will fall down crying and that but the energy was being released of course, because if yeah. i kept shoving it in i was gonna end up at the same place yeah. and not moving forward So uh, also you use more tools, right? What kind of tools do you use? When I'm working with clients dealing with this, um, doing subconscious work, going back, going back to, to where and trying to find out where this thing started. Where, where was it that you created this story? And you can change. I mean, you can't change the past, but you can energetically change it by making peace with it. Also mentally, right? Of and course, absolutely. Emotionally. emotionally, mentally, you can heal that. Like you can go back to an experience and actually give it your ending you know and this is this is a work that we do um i'm sure you do it as well i mean you it's like you go back to the wound and then you pretty much open it and then you heal it you know and then once you do that you're you're rewriting the past yeah you know you're you're healing all of this so that in in your present it doesn't show up anymore it is so important i also use breath work breath work explain a little bit about that breath because work, not all the people know amazing tool for emotional release it's it's actually um it's used to um release um stuck emotions and anything that has been um stuck in your body in an energetic way mm -hmm. um even physically well physically emotionally mentally and what it does is it it allows your body to be activated by the breath like it's natural intelligence starts to activate and, and it allows you to release anything and it's incredible what can be released because we're, we're, we're working with the subconscious um, the part of us that had stored all the stuff you know along our lives so when the breath what it does which is breath is energy is life force right what it does is activates it well we are gonna continue we're gonna go into a break but we're gonna continue with this subject it seems awesome. super good <laughs> perfect Science has confirmed that real health comes from raw, organic, and wild foods. Essentials is a complete program of five products to help your body function as nature intended. Premium Ancient Superfood Algae offers energy and stamina. Food-based digestive enzymes help prevent occasional heartburn and may reduce stress from processed foods and heavy metals. Our proprietary 
probiotics help support immune health, regulate bowels, and eliminate toxins. Improve your mood, mental clarity, focus, faster rejuvenation, and better sleep. Order now at eatessentialsnow.com. Essentials, life-enhancing ingredients in the palm of your hand. Eatessentialsnow.com. What is Deborah Size? With over 25 years of personal training experience and workout techniques, Deb Varsalone invites you to Deversize. Deversize comes to you from the privacy of your own home or group training facility. Deversize can meet your individual fitness needs. Offering one-on-one non-impact resistance training, post-surgical strengthening to higher level boot camp and weight training. Deversize will meet your personal fitness goals at any age. Contact Deb at 561-307-9283. Schedule an initial consultation and get ready for a stronger, healthier you. 561-307-9283. Thank you for listening. Latin Storytellers, Historias Latinas, Step Bay. If you wanted to be part of the show, Call in to 888-565-1470. Now, let's go back to the show. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. We are here with Fiorella <laughs> Garibaldi. Thank you, Garibaldi. Perdón, I'm sorry. So, Fiorella, what is your phone number that I can contact you? You can contact me at 786-443-4689. 786-443-4689. FiorellaGaribaldi.com is your website, yes, right? Yes, correct. It, And your email, Fiorella Mooney at gmail.com. They All can right. contact you there. Okay, perfect. Thank you. This is this is so, so interesting. I love the transformational coach that you're doing. I've been watching your videos and you're super happy. Could you, do you want to talk about a little bit of, of your dance thing? <laughs> well, I like that. Actually, um, this is something that I encourage my clients as well to do. And it's not just about dancing. It's, in, it's, it's in getting in contact with yourself with your body it's 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 tuning in and allow your body to express itself however it wants because this is another way of emotional and energetic and an, another energetic way to release stuff you know like when you're when you're stuck or stiff or narrow it also reflects in your body in the way you move you know so I, I I dance or move and and run every morning I do this because for me it's really important to create and align myself every day with the vibration that I want to live in. That's amazing. The other day that I saw a video that you were dancing in the morning. I'm like, whoa, that's a good idea. <laughs> it's, you know, it's so important for, for and people don't realize is they think that it's like, you know, like something that is not maybe worth doing, but you need to align yourself every morning with what, how you want your day to go because everything is about energy and vibration. You yes. know, if you're vibrating at that joy, happiness, um, abundance, you know, uh, freedom, frequency, if you're already being that, then everything else around you is just going to match you. You yes. know, there is no way it, 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 it doesn't happen. That's just the way energy works. And you create that moment when you are thinking about it and you're releasing the energy and dancing, right? A lot of people work out. Like some people get up in the morning and just run and come back and they organize their yeah. their life, right? But dancing is different. And, and you know what? And working out is great too, as long as you're being mindful of what you're doing. You know, right. you have to be really present with whatever your form of moving is. For me, I love dancing. I, do, I love doing yoga. I'm a yoga teacher as well. Oh, really? I yeah, didn't I love know doing that. yoga. I love uh, kickboxing. Any anything that allows my body to express, move, and release the energy that's you know it's 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 in there. Mm -hmm. It just helps. You know, it, it opens up and allows more of that universal life force to come in. Right. You know, and fill you up. It's like releasing and opening up for more. It's creating space for more. For more. Okay, so what is your life purpose, Friarela? How did you end up doing this? Um, I ended up doing this because I, like I said, I was working in TV and I was working as a wardrobe stylist and actually I don't think I've said that. I was working as a no. wardrobe stylist for TV. <laughs> so I've been a costume designer all my life working for the Spanish soap operas, costume designer for for novelas and now well lately so I, it was I, pro under production behind yes, cameras behind mm -hmm. behind the mm -hmm. scenes i never mm -hmm. really wanted to be in front of the scenes but that job <laughs> now was you are. exactly <laughs> that job was beautiful because it allowed me to 
to see I mean it's a tough industry to be in I mean if you're if you think about it where you're, you're selling your you know in in TV you're selling an image you know women are always so um, conscious about their body image about how they want to look and it could be a bit as beautiful as my job was it could be a little bit um, it could get you off track and overwhelm mm -hmm. and then you get caught on that and 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 you start losing you know your your track of where you what's important in life why what was that because the environment because the the people is where because based there, on the material stuff I think there, there are certain codes for tv and certain things that um tv has put as standards of what people mm. should look like and mm. you know what society wants to see and so it creates a great deal of pressure for the a people stress. that are work so stressful oh it creates so much pressure for the for the for the, for the actors and the people that are in front of the cameras because they are so pressured to look a certain way all the time. Mm. To be skinny, to be like this, to have the hair like, like the perfect smile, the perfect body. The nails. The nails, <laughs> everything. So yeah. it's so it's so stressful. And I, I started to to realize this and I was like, whoa, this is this is not the world I want to live in, you know, anymore. And this and is not a priority in my life anymore. And and my job as a word of style was also really, really stressful and under a lot of pressure. And I decided that uh, that's not the way I wanted to live. So I started to look into so many modalities and things. I started with the yoga, the energy healing, the energy work, the breath work, too. the breath work, the, the life coaching, the, the sound healing, the sound healing. The, t tell us about that. Did you have? I work about also that. with sound healing, which is I have crystal bowls, mm -hmm. um, singing beautiful. bowls. They're yeah. so beautiful and they're so amazing. They're they're alive. They're beings. They're made out of quartz crystal, which come from the earth. So uh, each bowl has. A different frequency that it sings at and you know when you study your your energetic body you know that you we have certain areas in our body that are attuned to a certain frequency when so when you play one of those bowls and it, it has a vibration like let's say an optimal healthy vibration for the heart and your heart is not probably attuned at that then the bowl is going to raise your vibration to nice. that vibration therefore healing it so there's so much healing that happens from from sound mm -hmm. it's beautiful so let me ask you because how you clients can benefit from your your practices well i work with women mm -hmm. um i i i empower women to own their worth you know to really start on their worth own their worthiness no okay yeah <laughs> to own their worth no, on the world. <laughs> no. okay to own their worthiness and and to start to discover themselves, to really get to know who they really are. Because I think that, you know, in this process of of growing up, we lose ourselves. We start becoming or playing roles, wearing masks. And at the end of the day, we don't really know who we are. And when I ask this to women that I work with, they often don't know what they like, what they desire. So you basically work with women. Yes, I just work with women for now. Yes, and it's Hispanic ladies or both? it's both. It's mm -hmm. a mix. It's a okay. mix. Okay, yeah. what is the amount of people that is? 50 /50? I would say it's fifty-fifty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So another thing is, um, you know, I I was looking into your website and you said like being confident, value yourself, set set healthy boundaries. That sounds great. Everybody wants to do that, but how? Can your clients achieve that? What do you do plus plus the the sound healing? Uh, yeah, well, I, I mix, like I said, all the modalities that I, I, I told you. But for example, setting healthy boundaries. That's so huge because oh, yeah. we are, that's <laughs> basically knowing what you want and basically saying no to everything else that's, that's not aligned with your vision and what your true heart is desires yeah when somebody asks you something and you don't want to do exactly. it you, you said no you say <laughs> no and it's so hard for so many of yeah. us and i include myself in there like it's uh, it's been so hard to say no to the things that you know you don't want to do but then you feel guilty you feel bad you feel a uh, pressure and you end up doing the things for any for in relationships at work whatever so setting healthy boundaries it's so crucial for example and it's basically as simple as just saying no to anything that is not aligned with what you want inclusive um inclu including wrong people right people that is in including, your life it's setting boundaries with your friendships with your Friends. energy like keeping yourself oh. like um you know like you don't you want to be surrounded by people that raise your energy and your vibration up yeah and you don't want to be with people that drag you down and and and, and make you and drag you along with them like you need to set boundaries around yourself that's taking care of yourself that's 
loving yourself. And and um, a lot of people works in places like you were doing it. It was not that bad, but mm -hmm. it, it, I did. You know, once once I I was in a place where everybody was really sad about it. They were really you know they were not happy but they want a paycheck and that's it and that was sad i mean for me to look at that yeah. that, that uh, really a lot of people do that a lot of people and i include myself like at the end of those years there i didn't really want to be there and it took me so long to to make that choice to change my life because of the fear of not trusting that i was good enough to maybe pursue something else and that is gonna you know, that your life is gonna switch Exactly. That's difficult because people to feel, are so yeah? scared to change. Yes, that's a huge one too. Like people are so scared to to change. They want to keep. They want to stay in the safety zone. Mm -hmm. They know, even if the safety zone sucks. <laughs> yes, <laughs> even if it sucks, it's better to you to know be for it to there. suck <laughs> because you at least you know what's you, in there. Yeah, but to to take that leap of faith into the unknown scares so many people, and it's so hard for so many to do. And and that's where the transformation happens. Yes, that's when you are coming along to the way. Like 786-443-4689, FiorellaGaribaldi.com, the website. Uh, and if you need any, uh, ask any question, uh, call 888-565-1470 for the radio. If you guys wanted to be here, uh, be a sponsor, interview, mm -hmm. call her or do something with the Transformation Life, we are here for you, right? Absolutely. And, and we can do fun stuff. We can dance mm -hmm. with her. Yeah. <laughs> and and the balls, the breath work, everything is, is a clue. Any tool that it helps us to to transform to to get unstuck from from these difficult places you know absolutely all that inner work is so it's so necessary for transformation for change to happen in our lives yeah so we are almost done with the 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 show thank you for coming thank you for and inviting me you, but we will be here <laughs> <laughs> thank you for listening everybody latin storytellers historia latina tv estamos aquí we are here live as well and Spanish Tuesdays at 11 para los español a las el martes también todos los martes a las 11 de la mañana uh, and that's it thank you for coming thank you Fiorella. thank you everybody for listening yes <laughs> that was wonderful thank you so much and listen everybody if you guys wanted to come to our uh, storytellers a latin storytellers stories latinas tv welcome call me 561-777-2295 and come and interview with me that's and do something like Fiorella did mm -hmm. really really valuable uh, coach transformational life coach right yes thank you for coming Fiorella thank you. that was fun mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you for listening to the show Latin Storytellers Historias Latinas TV until next time see you soon Welcome to the SoFlow Business Corner. My name is Tom Hibbert. I want to welcome all business owners to come onto the show and share and grow their business. So let's get on with the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Tom Hibbert and I am the host of SoFlow Mixers. Actually, no, scratch that. The SoFlow Business Corner. Guys, this has been a fantastic week. We have done a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, and I am so excited about our event at the Heart of Delray Gallery. It's going to be on Thursday, June 14th. Uh, we have 100 to 150 business owners coming out. They're going to be sharing. They're going to be growing their business, building it up. It is going to be unreal. We have food vendors. Uh, we have Bole coming. We have um, the Fountain Shop uh, that's in, the, in Delray. They are going to be bringing some fantastic food. Uh, we have wine vendors that are going to be doing wine tastings at the event. We have, uh, we have a photographer that's going to be doing social media pics, uh, drawing that out. We have, um, we have just so much stuff, uh, so many great vendors. It's such a great space, such a great gallery, such great art. Um, I can't talk highly enough about it because there is so much stuff out there that is unreal. Um, and I am really, really excited. 
I actually um, uh, set that up there, but I also want to announce that we actually have our power referral networking event set back up again at SQ1. It's going to be an SQ1 in Boca Raton, right on Glades and 95. Um, there's a, it's a, it just, it took over where the old bruises is. So there's so much stuff that we have going on. There's stuff that we have to announce. Um, there's video stuff that we have set up. There's so much stuff. But before I get into all of that, I want to introduce my guests. Um, I have Antonio Villatoro. Yes, sir. And I have his business partner, Eladio. What's your last name, Eladio? Laredo. Laredo. Um, and they are from Sunshine Meadows uh, Landscaping. They are unreal. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Good, Pretty good. good. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure, believe me. It's, awesome. Sounds like you were having an eventful week, and you know, looking forward to Thursday for sure. Listen, so. you, you, and when it comes when it comes to this stuff, you can't just sit on your laurels a little bit. <laughs> you got You got to actually go out and push it out, push it out, push it out. I met Antonio just about a year ago. Uh, we 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 actually lost track of the time ourselves. <laughs> we're like, is it more than a year? Is it less than a year? We we lost track of that, but. I met Antonio a year ago at my uh, at one of my events that I was hosting up in Palm Beach Gardens. Gardens. And um, I'm going to say it like this: You were a hot mess, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I can't agree. I can't agree more. I, can't, I really can't. <laughs> um, and in that time, you have you you personally have gone through a transformation <clears throat> for yourself to yes, turn sir. yourself, turn you and your business into something that is amazing. Um, I mean, at the time he he came with a short sleeve. Listen, he had this short sleeve. Lot of <laughs> he had this short sleeve shirt. It literally looked like it was in a ball for about six months. I believe that. I've seen it all the time. <laughs> but they, but that isn't how he is now. Oh no, no I, had a, I had to teach him. <laughs> I think a lot of people had to teach me. Oh, yeah. It's it's been a course of different different routes. People. But the transformation that you've made and the entire like everything that you've done for your business is unreal. Go through your process. Well, honestly, you know, I, I got to be honest and blunt, and this is not for advertising. If it wasn't for SoFlow Mixers and, you know, Tommy Hibbert is a, a good friend of mine, you know, it, it wouldn't be possible. You know, Please, it, tell me more. <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> okay, okay, don't get a big head now. But, so, you know, it's, it's just a matter of that event was, you know, I never had anything like that. I never did anything like that. So when I went to that event, you know, I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And especially when you went, made us go up there and give a, a spiel, you know, the minute video. Mm -hmm. and, or now... You know, it's it's where you're at. But it'd be back then, you know, you made a stand in the spotlight. You oh know? yeah. <laughs> so it was hard, and and we did it anyways. And um, you know, it was it was very exciting. I left that event very motivated. I left that event very hungry. You know, mm -hmm. to, to keep going. And you know, after that, I went to event after event and uh, tried to get my business uh, started. It w back then, it was TNT Services. Mm -hmm. uh, I recently merged with Eladio. Um, you know, he showed very good interest in, in helping and partnering with me and learning a lot about the uh, whole career industry and uh, with the experiences I had you know I've been with while I had the landscaping company you know it was going up and down and mm -hmm. I went to jobs I also worked for other companies to get more experience you know because I, all the experiences that I learned I learned on my own you know mm -hmm. how to from how to drive a, a walk behind mower to you know how to plant a garden you know it's, it's all things that I've learned little by little and uh, as I continued forward, you know, I just met more connections through SoFlow Mixers and uh, got appointments and got uh, opportunities to give estimates and going from there and, you know, just, just worked on how I delivered, worked on how I spoke, worked on my confidence, worked on all that, you know, and it's been uh, awesome ever since then. Yeah, I mean, because you always did good work. I, and yeah. I joke around with, with how you were with the first, with the with, with how you looked in that first event. <laughs> um, but I, I, I looked into you after after we met because even even uh even after that event we met up yeah. a couple times afterwards yeah. so i actually looked into you uh and and try to figure out what business you had you actually yeah. had a few people that you uh that you told me used to do work for yeah. you and i would call up and you've always did good work okay. you just didn't have the presentation yeah. side of, of it course. so doing that and and like you said having the experience of of working with other people yeah. and then you and then you went back at it i mean yeah. there's a lot of people that try uh try businesses on their own and then they fail and then they're like i can never do a business again. <laughs> it's never gonna happen was that, <laughs> that wasn't the case no, um and eladio when we were speaking outside i uh, what you you just when how did you get involved um well actually um 
I've been kind of like everywhere in my you know future careers mm -hmm. i like to get into everything like i like to work on my car i actually put uh engine in a truck hey, and did. i redid a whole truck one of the trucks we use currently and is. oh wow um actually one day we me and uh, antonio sat down at the house and he was like hey uh, i asked him hey how's that um lawn business thing he's like oh you know it's, it's okay you know i just i think you know there's some mistakes i made i said all right so i was thinking about you know merging with him and said hey let's do something together Let's, let's just scratch it out. Let's do it. Let's build it. And, you know, with me on the team and, and you with me, we'll do great. And and ever since then, we've been, we've been hustling to get where we're at now. Well, listen, you guys are doing fantastic. Let's talk a little bit about some of the changes that you guys have made for yourselves to, uh, to really to be such successful, so successful at your business. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's explain, have you guys explain a little bit about your business first. Well, that's funny you mentioned that because we actually, today, we just got done with a friend of ours, Lermy Barber, uh, shooting a uh, a little spiel commercial um, mm -hmm. for our page. So, really, what, what we want to put out there is that what's going to make us different from these other companies? Because anybody well, has what landscaping do do? companies. Let's, let's start there. What do you do? Okay. We do um, everywhere from designing um, the whole landscape. You know, mm -hmm. uh, if you have old landscape, we'll take it all out. We'll put new ones. We'll, you know, put new sod. We'll prepare the land, level it up. We would do everything that has to do with lawn care, irrigation. That's us. Oh, so, wow. So you even do the irrigation yes, and everything along the lines? All, all the whole nine yards. Wow. And that's experience from what we've did. Um, so I was saying what we, what we want to put out there is that, well, what's going to set us different because there's so many landscaping companies. You can look up Google landscaping companies and you'll see like automatically a whole bunch that pop up. Mm -hmm. So what's going to stand us out is our work, our word, what we we say, what we do in honesty and integrity. You know, we're not going to treat you like another client, another customer. We're going to treat you like family. We're going to make sure that we're going to hear out what you want, what you want to see. And based on our knowledge, our expertise, we're going to sit there and say, uh, maybe maybe it'll look better this way. Or maybe because there's too much shade here, we literally sit there and make sure that we can, you know, agree on one design. We'll put it in and we'll make sure that you you check in on us every step of the way as we're getting everything done. You want to talk a little bit? Go ahead. Well, like he said, like, you know, we, we, we kind of like... Um, we, we do the basic stuff, you know, when it comes to trimming, just mowing, edging, all, you know, everything like that. Um, whatever they need, we, we know it. We have a team. Um, there's more than just me and Antonio. No force. So whatever they need, we'll do it. And that's, that's the, that's the one thing I, I explained to him was I want us to be honest and, and loyal to what we're doing and commit to it. And if we got to go back you know to to follow up on it we'll do it the next day to make sure they're happy because that's all i want is other people to be happy well let me ask you is there sometimes like an education person that you guys need to provide to people like so like for example i don't know a lot about lawns and i can i'll say what i want to see but is there sometimes there's things that's just unrealistic is that there, there is, really is and that goes back to what i was telling you about the shades in certain areas a lot of people want this and this there but it goes much further as that. Like, will, it, will a plant survive where you want it? You know, yeah, I know it looks beautiful there, mm -hmm. but let's be realistic. Will it survive there? Too much shade, too much water, or too, they will get too little water. There's a lot of factors that come into effect when you're thinking about where to put stuff and, and how to put it and how you want it to look. So, yeah, you have to teach the customer and say, hey, I, but with my experience, this doesn't look good here. And, and a lot of co uh, companies don't do that. They say, okay, they want this. We're going to do it like that. You see, we don't want to just do it like that because it's going to die and they're going to come back to us and say, mm -hmm. hey, why did it die? So I want to sit there and make sure they know, you know, if we, they wanted to, us to put it there, we'll put it there. But we got to let them know that it's going to die. Yeah. Well, I mean, in general, you guys want to set it up so that it's six months down the road, course, a year yeah. from now, two It'll years, still be good. ten years. That the that your guys' stuff is set up right, so long as it's being maintained well, mm -hmm. which I'm sure you guys do regularly yeah. and yep. and everything else. Well, we recommend if we you know install it, we recommend that we maintain it as well because you know we know how it would be. It's your setup, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's of your course. setup. It's your system. It's <laughs> we're it's jealous everything with you do. our setups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes a lot of sense. Um, and so. Um, you actually did some work for a producer, for the producer of mine, and he was <laughs> he was absolutely floored for everything you guys did. Um, in fact, when when you guys did it, he he, he has a show, uh, the Brooklyn Cafe. He had us on Freddy. the next day. <laughs> yeah, he had you on there and, and everything else. Um, explain a little bit about the process for uh, so, for somebody. Like, let's say you're 
Uh, because that was what floored Freddie the most. Of course. Is your process of showing everything beforehand. So explain a little bit. You're, I'm your customer. I have a house that I, I want the XYZ done. Okay. Hey, walk me through your process. <clears throat> You want to go ahead? I mean, you can do it. You can explain the whole right. thing. So, so what we do is basically we'll, we'll obviously go. We'll get you. Okay, so let me get your address. We'll go visit. We'll take pictures. Um, so what we do is we go in and we have an actual app that would help us um, take the picture. We'll put whatever you, you want mulch. We'll put mulch. You want rocks? We'll put rocks. We'll have the rocks. We'll have the display up there no matter what's on there. You might mm -hmm. have, you know, grass there now. But we can put the actual, you know, rocks or anything that you want, the types of plants you want, and we can actually, you know, send you the picture of how it will look potentially. So, so you're you saying that you can create you you what you'll do is you'll end up creating like a like a like an image yes. of sh of yes. what what my lawn will look like mm -hmm. based on what we spoke yes. on. Yes. Wow. So it's just a program that you know. I'm not sure if a lot of people have that, but we think we're thankful we do because that's a big help when it comes. I guess to some it. people want different colors. Of you know, if they want a red or a brown or. You know, For example, it, it, Freddie, we we he told us to do our own, and so we put uh, red mulch. But he said, "No, I don't like the red mulch. I want dark mulch." Mm -hmm. So you know, we were able to go ahead and show him what it would look like with dark mulch and. You know, I think that's really a top selling, you know, yep. um, for what we do because that 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 way where there's no miscommunication, mm -hmm. you know, and and there's no waste of of money for the uh, product. You know, we might get the wrong product. No, we know what we're gonna get and we know how much of it we'll get. Yeah, and that ends up costing your clients. Yes. I mean, eventually that yes. that's that's so you're saving them money yeah. in doing that. Um, where where you find what do you find the most common? Um, I don't want to say mistakes, but the most common things that people ask you about or at what they're asking you for that you're not that that is either <laughs> too unrealistic or or something along those lines uh, although while there's multiple i think one of the big ones is more, mainly um well as far as characteristics you know they they want someone who's um completely like word stand by their word you know, and someone who's consistently there and, and someone they can actually communicate with. Um, and that's something that a lot of companies can't, you know, or, or they do in the beginning because, you know, they want to kiss you. They want to cut, you know, will do whatever they can to have your business. But then when they have like three or more business, more accounts, they'll forget about you, mm. you know, and they don't talk to you. They The communication you had goes away. And and funny you say that because I, we're actually in the process of talking to a manager who says that their community has a certain knack and certain things that they want their landscaper to do and their landscaping company that they have now just doesn't do it. You know, they, there's there's a, it, it, there's small strips of grass that the company uses the big machine, mm -hmm. but it messes up the cars. It messes up, you know, what the, it brings mm -hmm. dirt and everything to the cars and everything. They want someone who will do the, the small machine there, but the company doesn't want to do it. So again, Well, I, let me ask you this question. Is it the company that doesn't want to do it or is it the, 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 the team that's in place? Uh, yeah, it could be a factor of both, but I mean, mm -hmm. that's where the people who are in the head come in. You know, you got to make sure that those people are there. You got to be there watching them behind mm -hmm. them, you know, and that's something that, you know, it, some a lot of us or a lot of the companies fail to do. Well, let's put let's put you guys in, in that scenario. I'll, how do you guys keep track of your team? Because this, what I mean, what you I guys you put out there is fantastic. So how do you guys keep track of your team to make sure that they keep doing the same thing over and over the right way every time? I just, I mean, I don't know if the other companies are like, um, they're, they got too much work and mm -hmm. that's why they rush it so they can just go on their way. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the, that's the thing that I was thinking about as well. And I want us to have the, all the time we can to, to take care of that one person mm -hmm. till, you know, till they're satisfied and that I'm satisfied. Like I would like for them to send me pictures, say, "Hey, this is what we did. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you like it?" And this is good. It's good. Let's go. But that's another thing. It's like so many companies are pinching every single penny because they 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 don't want to uh, hire more workers, so they kind of stuff them with so much work that they they just rush it. They use bigger machines to get a get the job done quicker, so they could be on to the next one. And another thing is the training. You know, so the guys we bring in, we're not just going to hire some guys off the street. We're going to make sure that the guys that we hire will shadow us. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, you know, we'll sit there and literally train them pretty much on how things get done. And mm -hmm. we'll do a weekly checkup with them and make sure everything's getting done the way that we taught them.
And if there's any complaints from the customer, they'll come either straight to us, and we will, you know, handle it right away. So and you're talking. You, what you're talking about is you're talking about pure accountability. Like you yeah, guys are, yeah. you guys are hands on. You yeah, guys are going regularly and everything else. Yes. Is that something that's common in the business, or is that? I think a it is to a certain point. It is to a certain point. To a certain point. Yeah. Explain that. Or, or to a certain point, like uh, when people get more work, they fail to hold themselves accountable, mm-hmm. and not even that. Sometimes, you know. A lot of these companies are long time in the business and they are inherited by a son, a daughter or some, you know, a relative who doesn't knows nothing about the company. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, they they don't know how to hold, you know, how the accountability was in the company, how it was going and they they failed to hold it to that. So uh I think what we're, bottom line is, you know, the training and holding the people accountable is make is the key to, you know, success. And so and like you said, I mean, holding the people accountable, but actually being hands on, yeah, seeing yeah, that, of course. and double checking the work that you're putting out there because you're putting your names on there, of course, and of everything course. else. Of course, um, you have a a lot of stuff that that's going on in the community. You have a lot of stuff that you guys handle. Um, can you explain a little bit about where you're going from here? Okay. Well, I know from we both talk about it daily. You know, where it's something where. What we want to do is we want to, you know, help out. All we care about is doing the job right mm-hmm. and caring for the customer. You know, just like your soul flow is relationship wise, we want to have a good relationship with our customers, with the homeowners. We want to make sure that um, we're every day we strive to go forward and get recommendations from them. You know, grow our business. That's really the key here. Mm-hmm. And, and making sure that anyone we add on to the team is going to be, you know, and the same aligned with the same vision we are mm-hmm. and we're going we're pushing to go forward to to meet you know um be referrals uh by you know be referred by the management companies and and we're co- personally contacting management companies and and setting up introduction emails contacting them say hey where can i send this you know it's an email that letting you know who we are we're a business you know that's we've been in business but we're restarting again and, and we want to do your lawn and we want to show you you know what we're doing and we use things like this when we're going on and, and people are talking highly about us we use that as attachment so that they can see mm-hmm. that it's it goes beyond you know just our words you know we, freddie will tell you and and you know the, all your this client, stuff you're the clients yeah, the clients have, tell you, have your yeah, stuff of course. has your has your so so uh, it's all about over. them put being behind us as we go forward you know so well, um, how do you guys? Do you guys mainly stay in the in the the residential side? Do you guys stay in the commercial side? What do you guys specialize in, as far as that's concerned? Well, we handle both. I think when it comes to actually like redesigning everything, we'll do residential right now mo- mainly because we like to see these homes beautify. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. for commercials, we'll do the maintenance. So I think we do we do both. And mm-hmm. you know, some what we offer for the residential, we can't do it with the commercial that's mm-hmm. so you know but what we offer with the residential is a different package than homeowners so i think we do both we handle both and um you know we communicate differently with both because obviously a commercial is bigger and the homeowner is smaller so but we do a little we, we make sure we're you know able to handle both and yeah, you got to balance it all yeah you got to balance it balance it how so like you you don't want to just stick with commercial because that's that's very risky anytime anytime they can uh uh, just call up and say, "Hey, we don't need your services anymore," and that's it. When residential, you can, you know, they'll call you and say, "Hey, I don't want your service," and you explain why. And say, "You know what? We'll, we'll take care of you this time. If you don't like it, then you know we'll, we'll go separate ways." And I just think that's why it's it's good to have a balance in it because it's just commercial is very risky, mm-hmm. and that's why I prefer the residential. It's well, good to have a commercial, but you know, residential is where it's guaranteed. Well, it, that, that's also guaranteeing that you you you're having by having both sides, by having the balance that you speak of, you're able to to make money that that you need to make, so that you can maintain the team that you have, of course, so that you can have the so that you can be able to serve the clients the way you guys want. It it to me it sounds it sounds like a perfect type of business plan. I mean, <laughs> that's that's uh, as far as landscaping is concerned. Yeah. I. I mean, I don't know, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know too much, but I'm, I'm getting an education right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's the experience that we have. And ultimately, you know, being able to have those experiences and, you know, me learning from scratch and, and I have the capability to be able to train these guys to where, you know, I've been through what, what the usual customers complain about. I've been through what the usual customer would, you know, snag at us about, mm-hmm. you know, so... I make sure that we avoid those things and, and we get things right. 
you know we do it the best of our abilities and any complications you know we don't have to make it very big you know it's just we handle it right then and there so you know everybody makes mistakes so oh I mean, it's, it's gonna happen eventually <laughs> but it's how you handle exactly. it and what you move on exactly. from and and wh where was it so that the mistake doesn't exactly. happen again that exactly. kind of thing exactly. um so how many people do you guys have on your team explain a little bit about your team and your and and how you work with your team well right now we have uh two crews mm -hmm. um when well uh, and then we go out with uh we each have like about one person or two person that'll help us out it depends mm -hmm. we have actually flexibility because we're just starting so we're um with the houses we have we get those done but we still have room we're still trying in the process of making the agenda to be all week so right now i think we have about maybe a couple of days of work for our, our guys and mm -hmm. two crews but we're working on filling those uh agendas every every day every day of the week so that would be repeatedly because especially now it's in the hot summer so you know um but once it comes to the winter that's pretty much we had to have stuff planned now mm -hmm. so a lot of the times you know we're we're out there um, one of us will be working with the crew or one and then the other one would be, you know, out there looking for more work or, you know, passing out cards or um, trying to get projects ready for winter because winter is where it hits. And I've learned from the past experiences, if you don't have nothing planned for winter, it's going to be tough, you know, because if you don't have anything for the winter, that's when everything dies down. The houses you have, you do less because you won't need so. to because they won't need to be exactly. cut and, uh, all the time and everything else. Yeah. Um, you actually, that's very funny that you say, uh, the winter is, is kind of your scary season <laughs> because for most business owners in South Florida, the yeah. summer is usually where <laughs> it is, it is the scariest <laughs> for most business owners because and what happens is, and, and as, as my experience with, with networking and everything else, people, every, all the snowbirds leave, especially in Palm Beach County. Um, all the snowbirds, they leave. Half the half your population is is now gone, and now you have less people to to sell things to. So so my networking events actually get busier in the summer months uh, because everybody else is hungry. You guys are the opposite. <laughs> yeah. you guys are you guys have you guys are are real busy during the summer, yeah. and then during the during winter, winter you're, we're kind of like so you mentioned about getting projects and and stuff along those lines. What do you do to find those projects? Well, we start now. We as we know there's we contact people who we know are going to be or we get leads from people who aren't here for the summer but they will be here for the winter. The winter, you know, you have Christmas, you have the holidays. So a lot of people like to make their um yard stand out a lot of people mm -hmm. like to decorate lighting so we'll probably even incorporate lighting you know okay i was gonna say do we, we yeah. do that like, <laughs> so uh that's something that we haven't spoke about but you know I'm, I'm it's always an opportunity to to make it you know more income and ha be busy but um for for the, the most part you know we look for, a lot of people look to design that's when you do more of the designing work that's when you do more of the um changing out the plants and everything for the mm -hmm. winter uh and you a lot of planting is the Christmas plant. There's a lot. Of, I don't know if you know the ones with mm -hmm. the red oh, flowers yeah. and they're really bright. That the people love those in their yard. That's like the only thing they know about gardening. <laughs> that's that's it. That's that's all you got. Um, so people people love that um, during the winter, and so we look for people who are willing to you know redo their their yard for the winter, and we set it. Okay, this is the day. This is the day. So that when the winter comes, we have projects already lined up. All right, you got you got one minute. Tell me why I, I need to buy why I need to use your <coughs> services. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, need you know what? You know I'm gonna say, I'm gonna direct this question to a lot of you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I said he's the salesman of the whole thing. He does, he does an amazing job. I know. That's, that's why let's I keep be clear. Him on my side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning from him. <laughs> All right. All right so, so, so teach the kid. Okay. Teach him. Yeah. Teach well, me. you you want you want to have our service because it goes back to the you know honesty integrity. Mm -hmm. You know you're not gonna find nobody like us. You're not gonna find people who are willing to sit there and and hear what you want to have. You know again because I don't know if it's because they're busy. I don't know if it's because they don't you know they don't like cu dealing with customers. But I don't know why they would be in the business in the first place. But we're here. We're willing to hear you out and make sure that everything you want gets done. Perfect. And how can people get a hold of you? Uh, we're on Facebook. You can like us. It's uh, Sunshine Meadows LLC. Um, also, you can get a hold of us at the phone number. Mine's is 561-853-8035. And Eladio? Mine's 561-323-1451. Do me a favor. Say your number again. You said it a little fast. Say it a little slow. 561-853-8035.
three five. And then check them out on Facebook, uh, Sunshine Meadows LLC. They are absolutely amazing. While you're on Facebook, check out our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash SoFloMixers. That's S-O-F-L-O-M-I-X-E-R. Uh, you, if, you, if you missed anything uh, or you wanted to catch anything back about this, uh, about this interview, check us out once again on Facebook, facebook.com slash SoFloMixer, and, and you'll be able to have that video. Guys, this has been a fantastic time. Thank, Thank you, you guys for this. coming out. Um, we are going to be back here again next week, same time, Tuesday, 7.30. We're going to have fantastic guests for you. Thank you guys very much, and we're going to check you out next time. Don't forget about Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>